coaster when the shoe falls off of your foot, right? And the height of that shoe at any time is going to follow this function here. All right. I'm going to figure out at what time is the shoe going to hit the top of a 49 foot tall building? Well, what that means is if you're riding on your roller coaster and your shoe falls off and here's my building, right? First of all, why is a roller coaster over a 49 foot tall building? That's crazy. But when is it going to hit the top of a 49 foot tall building? That just means when is the height 49 feet, right? We can kind of ignore the building and all we care about is when is the height of the shoe 49 feet? So we need to use our function because it tells us the height at any time of the shoe. It's going to be 170 minus 16 t squared and that's going to tell me the height at any time i can plug in numbers into t one two three four five and just try to guess and check but that would take a very long time and you might never even get the answer that way so let's do the direct method of actually setting this equal to 49. it's telling me when is the height equal to 49 feet at what time i'm going to solve for t and now there's two ways there's a few ways that you can do this actually the the very first step though is to get everything to one side we want to have this whole equation equal to zero so I'm going to move this 49 over to the left-hand side, subtract 49 on both sides. All right, so I'm going to do minus 49, minus 49, and then we get 121 minus 16t squared equals zero. All right, now this is where we have a few different options. We can factor. We can just try to solve for t and get the t by itself like you would for most equations, or we can use the quadratic formula. All right, the first two methods will work some of the time, all right? The quadratic formula will work every time, all right? So let's use the quadratic formula because that will always give us the answer, all right? Sometimes it's a little bit longer um, than the first two methods, but it will always give you the answer. So let's use that. And if you remember the quadratic formula, it'll solve for me for t. And all I have to do is plug in my a, b, and c. It's negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And if you remember the a, b, and c, that's like... If, you're, if your function is written in this form, at squared plus bt plus c equals zero, right? Which is basically how my function is written. Everything's equal to zero, right? Where a is the number in front of t squared. So what's the number in front of t squared in my function here? It's going to be this negative 16, right? So that's my a, negative 16. What's the number in front of the t in my function? That's going to be b. Is there a t by itself in my function here? There's not. So we're going to say b is zero. All right, and then what's C? C is the number that's by itself in my function. So if I look at my function here, what number is by itself with no T next to it? It's going to be this 121. That's my C. And all I'm going to do is plug in all that stuff. So negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC, big square root, all divided by... 2a. All right, and I plug that in, and then we have a plus and minus. That means we have two answers. One's got a plus on top, one's got a minus on top. And when I plug that into my calculator and work it out, we get two answers, 2.75 and negative 2.75. And they're both correct, but in the context of this problem, only one is correct. So we have to go back and think, this is time that I solve for, right? So if I plug both of those numbers into my function here, it'll give me 49. It tells me 49 if I plug in 2.75 or negative 2.75 in for time. But if we think, if, if those are times, does this one make sense? If my shoe hit the top of that building at negative 2.75 seconds, that means it was 2.75 seconds in the past. And that doesn't make sense. We're not gonna go back in time. We wanna figure out when in the future does it hit the top of the building. So we're not gonna look at the negative 2.75. We'll ignore that, which means that my only answer can be this positive 2.75. So my answer is, 2.75 seconds later is when the shoe hits the top of that 49 foot tall building.